Hello beautiful people here in Arizona. We're gonna be talking about my Lurpiv trucks versus Ace trucks. And I have two setups right now. Al just set up a brand new pair of AF1 trucks. I've been riding my original Lurpiv truck, so we're just gonna do a little bit of back and forth. There's a pump track here, so I figured that's a good way to test the churning of these trucks. And there's a normal street area here too. So in this video, we're just gonna talk about the difference and some of the nuances between Lurpiv trucks and Ace trucks, because that is a common question that I've gotten on the last couple of reviews of my Lurpivs. And I am riding the very first version and the kingpin issue hasn't happened to me since I've used the Loctite. And if you don't know what I'm referring to, I'll leave a link up above in a video where basically I added Loctite to my Lurpiv kingpins, the inverted kingpin, and I haven't had any issues since I've done that. So yeah, we're gonna have Al test out my board. I'm gonna ride his board. We're just gonna kind of ride each other's board and just figure out what the difference are in these trucks. I'll just ask the homie what the skate park is called and it's Avondale, right? Avondale. Avondale, all right, that's the print proper pronunciation avondale we got we got the original ace trucks right here we got the ace af1s ace AF1 trucks right here. and then we got the lurp pivs right here so we got we got quite the truck madness going on before we jump into the skate park up or walked up onto the mountain. You can't really see the skate park from down below. Now that I'm up here, got this crazy pump track behind me. I've never seen this kind of pump track. It was an asphalt, it's really rad. And a whole little street area. So let's get warmed up and we'll dive in to the difference of these truck brands, these different designs and geometries. About a week ago, I set up this transition board and I have my regular kind of, I don't know, street skate park board with me. And one of the big reasons I did that is so that I can test out the difference in between the trucks because sometimes it's hard to notice the difference unless you have both things set up. So that's what this is video is gonna be about, like I was saying earlier. But the one first thing I wanted to mention is the churning. One thing that I definitely have noticed since I've set up my Ace is that they turn sharper, much sharper than Lurpivs in a way. But at the same time, I get to wheel bite a lot faster. The Lurpids almost have this like anti wheel bite mechanism and I don't know if they really designed it for that. That's just sort of what I'm coining it right now as. And what I've noticed is you get a sharp turn up to a certain point and then there's more resistance. With the Ace trucks, it's like they just keep turning, keep turning, you'll go to wheel bite, which could be an advantage. Like if you're skating really tight training, like a Jersey Barrier or something like that, I think Ace trucks might be better. But if you're skating big training, and you want to have a nice stable ground, lurp pivs might be better. So that's just like some initial first things with the churning and the nuances in between the churning of the two different trucks. The turning point on Ace is like so much more precise. It's so much faster. Um, it's quicker, quicker times, um, like quicker like times as in like, it just, it turns faster, honestly. Um, turns faster, it like turns it's more responsive? More responsive, exactly. A lot more responsive. Nice. I know I keep bringing oh, yeah. it up. No, um, but no, yeah, like every time I would set down well, into like- Why did you switch from Indy to Ace? Was it just out of curiosity or- No, I prefer Ace. I've rode for Ace for yeah. like 10 years and I had Ace, I was riding Ace trucks for like, you know, like the last eight, nine years. And then I went to the skate shop, they didn't have Ace and I needed new trucks because I broke off the axle on my old Ace trucks, the OG ones, but I had them for like three years. And then, um, so yeah, I got Indies and those sucked and they were heavy 
and not anything against AMD, not saying they suck. I mean, they're good trucks. It's just- It's not what you're used to. Not what I'm used to. Yeah, exactly. Like yeah. they weren't, they're heavy. They don't turn as quick as I need them to turn. I mean, I'm a big guy. I make mistakes when I'm skating and I try to hang on the board. I just try to stick every trick. And having aces, I feel like it keeps me on the board longer, you know, nice. on these runs, honestly. Yeah. So- That's good um, to know. Like you can escape, you know, near death experiences on these trucks and then like still land the trick and still get out of it and you know, keep That's your line going. That's a good point. So, point. Yeah. Thank you. Jay just took us to this amazing pool. It's like a half pipe into a pool. It's called Long Dogger Camelback Bowl. Super hyped. I have my H trucks here and my Lurp Piv, so I'll be trying both boards in this epic pool. There's no coping on it, but really, really good transition. Whoa! It's like you're manually through your tricks, you know? I think yesterday skating the backyard pool really gave me a good test of whether I would ride Lurt Piv or Ace in one of those environments because that's really where it comes to test is like all the churning, the grinding and everything like that, at least for my type of skateboarding. I will say I had a lot of fun on the Aces, but at the end of the day, I did like the Lurt Pivs more. I felt like I had more stability. I ended up riding my Lurt Piv board more often, even though the actual ace board that I have set up is wider. So it should be more comfortable for pulls and it was more stable, but I just felt the churning was so tight that it was really nice in the shallow end. I was able to get through everything really easily. But with my lurt pivs, I felt more stable doing tricks in the deep end. So I just had more um, confidence. I felt like I wasn't gonna uh, maybe just churn the one way or whatever 
you know, basically when you're in one of those really tight pools, your every little kind of bump and every single little turn really matters. So like if you're leaning too far one way, you're going to splat. So that's one thing that I really did like about the lure pivots. I think they turn really good. They're really responsive, but they do still have that stability. So at the end of the day, I still like the lure pivots, but I am going to get Al's opinion because he set up his AF ones recently and I have the original aces. So he has been riding my board the last couple days and he did ride it in the pool. So we'll get some of his thoughts and what he thinks in between these two different trucks as well. So I'm making a review right now on these Ace AF1 trucks, but you know, I'm gonna try Dowdy's Lurpiv trucks and I'm gonna let you guys know what I think. They turn good. They do turn good. Good back and forth. If you can pump on flat ground, you know they're good trucks. Yeah, they're going good. <laughs> okay. These Lurpiv trucks are very precise, very accurate. The turning capabilities are all time. How do you compare them like versus the aces? Like I know it's hard to compare apples and oranges, but like. Um, so I feel like aces turn faster, are more like more dynamic. I feel like these are more precise. Um, I also feel like, like on the grinds, it grinds good. The tail slide, you can feel it lock in the coping sticky over there and I wasn't going too quick, but you can feel that edge right there. So when you lock in on a tail slide, it's like you're almost even more on top of the deck, like a ledge. And in that sense, if it was slick and I had speed, I would have slid so much farther than I would on a normal truck. I feel like that edge right there really uh, enhances your slide capabilities. Good save. Alright, we'll do it. 